Yes, it has gotten to this. Welcome to Panzer Models Tank Dating Simulator. Yep, you heard that right? It's a it's a visual novel game. I've never played this. I intended never to play it uh, any of those games in my life. But we're here now for reasons that don't really matter. So l let's get into it. Dead have seen the end of war. Benito Putin, Prime Minister of Crimea. Wow, okay. Ah, uh, what? Yawn. Ah, I can't believe I overslept. Of course you overslept. Gunny is going to have my head for this. Who's Gunny? Wait, never mind. It's the first day of class. So. This takes place in high school? Oh shit, it's the first day of class. I really should have written down the address. Oh, this is using fucking uh, uh, royalty free music. <laughs> Jesus. I have no idea where the hell this school is. Why did they put a tank school in downtown Aki Akihabara anyway? Come to think of it, I haven't seen any military bases near here either. Hell, I really am going to be late if I can't figure out where I'm going. I should ask for directions. Yeah, let's ask. Looks like that mechanics shop is open. Same with the convenience store. I'll ask one of them. Uh, Alright, let's go to the mechanics. Maybe the mechanic would know where the tankery school is. Make your way into the garage of a small mechanics shop. The only thing lighting the room is the warm glow of morning sunlight coming through the garage doors. Oh, this is an anime game, really. <laughs> uh, suddenly a young woman in a denim jacket wheels out from under one of the vehicles. Her jacket is covered in moat roll stains. What are you doing in here? she asks sternly. You glance around awkwardly. Sorry, I'm just looking for the army base with the tank school. Her expression changes to a smile and she wipes the oil off her hands. Name's Michaela. We ain't got no army bases here though. But the tanks you questioned before she cuts you off again. Oh, we got one of those. The tanks are real sweet girls. What? I did some work on Panzer IV last week. She's adorable. Okay. You stare confused by her statement. Adorable tank girl? Are we talking about the same thing? She ignores you and continues on with her sentence. Yeah, yeah, you're in a hurry. Just go a few more streets. The tank school is a big white building. You can't miss it, she says with a laugh. You nod and thank her quickly before leaving for the school. Tank school, it looks like I'm... <laughs> You've been jogging the last few blocks before finally coming to the gates of the school. The building looks unassuming enough, except for the large tank school sign on the front wall written in some sort of Teutonic font. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. You say to yourself as you make your way inside. As you work your way through the school halls towards your classroom, something seems amiss. Beyond the tank school sign, nothing about this place look li looks like it's run by the military at all. No military police at the gate checking papers, no junior officers walking around trying to get salutes out of annoyed sergeants, nothing. Maybe that mechanic was pulling my leg. Oh, she wasn't. It's tank dating simulator, buddy. You keep walking down the hallway before stopping to peer into a classroom through an open door. Jeez, these images, man. <laughs> Even the images are bad. <laughs> to you, it looks like any normal Japanese classroom. The desks are arranged in neat rows, and nothing about the room would lead you to believe that this place has anything to do with the military. What the hell have I gotten myself into, you mutter to yourself, before stepping back out into the hallway. Huh, 
Well, here's room 2C. This is what it said on the paper. This must be it, I guess. You open it. What paper? Whoa, shit. You're late for class, maggot. A tall man dressed in a marine drill sergeant uniform shouts at you before you're even halfway through the door. His name is Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. Okay, Hartman. Ah, I'm sorry, sir. Don't you serve me, maggot. I work for a little. What? Gunnery Sergeant, I mean. Uh. Have you forgotten how to address a senior non commissioned officer, maggot? Sergeant, this <laughs> recruit is sorry for being late, but this recruit was lost and had to ask for directions, Sergeant. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this dialogue. <coughs> the sergeant opens his mouth to shout again. The classroom door opens. Uh, hey, senpai, what? M4 Sherman is a girl, of course, of course it's a girl, what else would it be, right? <laughs> Sherman, you're late again. Sorry, senpai, I couldn't find my armored skirt this <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no excuses, Sherman. Take your seats. This means you to recruit, he says, looking back at you. <laughs> Class, Sherman and our new recruit are volunteering for cleaning detail this after. I didn't volunteer for shit, fuck off. Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> Two afternoons. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I saw shit's best job I ever had. Best job I ever had, the rest of the class replies in unison. This is stolen from uh, Fury. You and Sherman take your seats at the back of the class, and the drill sergeant continues with his lesson. Right. After a few minutes of listening to him lecture on fire support doctrine, you hear a whisper to your right. Of course, you hear a whisper. New guy. Psst, what's your name? Erwin, you whisper back. What are you doing here at tank school? Well, this is not a tank school. That's what I want to know. I'm supposed to be studying tank warfare at an officer's academy, but all of you are dressed like high schoolers. Well, duh, we're tanks. Yeah, I, c I can see that. What? Thanks? Didn't you read the sign out front? Tank school, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, but I thought it was tank school, like normal. No, it's tank school for ta What the fuck? That makes absolutely no- Yeah, Erwin, I'm with you there. Cut the chatter back there, recruits. Don't worry, I'll introduce you to everyone at lunch, she whispers before going back to doodling on her desk. This is going to be a weird day. Uh, for you and me both, Erwin. I really hope I'm at the right place. Command will give me hell if they think I win AOL. How old is this main character? A few hours later. It's probably almost lunchtime. At the sound of the bell, all of the tanks in the classroom start unpacking their lunch bags and heading into the hall. New guy, follow me. I'll show you where the mass mass hall is. She shouts excitedly from across the hall as she starts skipping away. A shorter girl to your right looks at you and frowns. Oh, of course, there's one that hates me but that secretly likes me, right? Ugh, you'll be sitting with us today. Yes, T34. Oh, it's a Russian tank. <laughs> Great, she says as she rolls her eyes and follows Sherman down the hallway. <laughs> oh fuck man these images they couldn't even draw the fucking background images shit we walk into the school's mass hall and already there are tons of students sitting at various ta various tables together on the far side of the room you see Sherman and a few other girls chatting as soon as she sees you she jumps up yeah hey new guy over here 
You walk over to the group of girls and one by one Sherman begins to introduce you. Irvin, meet Panzer IV, oh, German tank. Yeah, hiya, I'm a junior here and I'm from Germany, she says with a wink. And you're a tank too. Of course, I'm Panzerkampfwagen IV aus, aus Führung F2. But my friends just call me Panzer IV, she giggles. <laughs> This little cutie is T-34 Chan, Sherman says, pulling on the pink-haired girl's sleeve. Cut it out, Sherman. Oh, come on, T- Ch Oh, I don't want to fucking read this shit. Ugh, oh, hi, I'm Tankovit 34 but everyone just calls me T-34, except Sherman. That's right, she's our little T-Chan. Ugh, I'm not that short. Well, you look pretty short. Shorter than both of us, Sherman and Panzer IV laugh in unison. It's obvious that this isn't the first time they've had this discussion. Wait, so if you're Panzer IV and she's T-34, don't you two? Oh yeah, Russians and Germans, they should kill each other. We used to have our differences, but we've got over it, right T-34? She says, nudging T-34 to speak. Right, who needs European hegemony and the Crimea anyway? <laughs> Sherman quickly cuts her off. Well as close to over it Well as close to over it as they can get, she says, poking them both in the ribs. So then, everyone here is a tank. Yep, well except for the teachers and you, she says, embarrassed. Yeah, the main character is special. I'm beginning to think this is some sort of a joke. Seems normal to me, she smiles. Well, yeah, but you're a tank and a girl. No, she's not a tank, she's a girl. I still don't even know why I'm here. I was supposed to be studying armored warfare, not how to be a tank. Ugh. Go ask Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. He's so kawa He's so kawaii, even if he seems like a meanie. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard a sergeant called Kawaii. Yeah, me neither. Let's go together, come on. She says as she grabs you by the hand. Weren't they having lunch? Shouldn't they just continue eating? <sighs> this game, man. Follow me, Erwin. We can talk to her sergeant. I don't know, he doesn't really seem like the talking type. Is there anyone else? He just seems grumpy, but he's actually really sweet. We're talking about the same person. Wait, wait, wait. So, so far it's been 13 minutes of recording. The only thing that I had to do was either choose to go to the mechanic or convenience store. The rest was just clicking. This shit ain't even a game. It's only because he was in the war, this... <laughs> Wait, he was? As you speak, the sound of a tank motor stalling suddenly roars behind you. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so oh, I'm so sorry. Is is he okay? Wah This this was an accident. You really need to be more careful careful, you almost crushed him. I know, Senpai. I broke down again and <laughs> I couldn't stop. <laughs> it's okay, it's gonna be alright. Just don't push yourself so hard, okay? <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> Senpai, <laughs> he's waking up. <clears throat> Looks like you took quite a fall there. I did what? I was just. <laughs> Where am I? Don't worry, you're quite alright. What? How? What happened to me? Oh, Tiger <laughs> 1 had a little slip up. Her transmission jammed again. You know, you really should wear a helmet when you're around. Thank what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't you read the field manual? Field manual? Never mind. Anyway. Tiger, come over here. He looks well enough to see. <sighs> Yeah, hello, Tiger Tank. 
I'm sorry for running you over, yeah. She looks really sad. I should probably say something. Uh, who the fuck are you people? I'm the coolest mechanic, but for you, oh right, well, yeah, that no, that makes sense. Ah, yeah, I'll give I'll give him that. And this girl is Tiger One. She's Panzer IV's cousin. Uh, okay. The blonde girl blushes red, and her lip starts to quiver. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean. It's just. Look, I'm really all right. See, you say ba balancing with one foot on the oh, that's what that's I'm talking, right? Look, I'm really all right. See, you say balancing with one foot on the ground and the other resting against the bed. As the girl starts to look at the nurse worriedly. As the girl starts to you look at the nurse worriedly. Yeah, this this writing, uh, right? Um, Tiger breaks down a lot. You might want to let me handle this from here. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Uh, sure, yeah, I'll see myself out, you say, as you pry the crying girl off of you. <laughs> of course. You walk out into the school hallway and take a moment to catch your thoughts. What kind of a place is this, you mutter, when you notice a girl staring at you from behind the corner of a... <laughs> is this school populated uh, only by girls? Of course it fucking is, it's a light novel. Ugh, visual novel, whatever. She ducks behind around the corner as soon as you look at her. Um, hello? Is anyone there? She peeks her head back out, blushing red and looking very shy. Oh yes too. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she has a really big barrel. <laughs> are are you the new boy? Uh yeah, I guess I am. Well, I wanted to ask you something if that's okay. Sure. Oh fuck. Well, have you ever been inside of a tank? <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh no, never. <laughs> <laughs> well then why are you playing this game? <laughs> game? This game where you wait to ask me if I want to get... Oh my god! This is so bad! Oh uh, yeah, do you want to go get a drink? Sure, sure, force me. Yeah, yeah, let's go. You and I as two walk down the street. She keeps trying to brush her hand against yours. Obviously, she isn't the master of subtlety. Obviously. I mean, duh. Come on, Irwin, let's get that drink. I wonder if my last name is Rommel. Hmm, that would make things a bit more interesting. She pulls you into the bar by the hand. Obviously, you don't have much choice in this matter. Well, clearly, you know, it's, it's, it's women's world. The bar is dimly lit, and it smells of sweat, alcohol, and do I smell Cosmolin? I have no idea what Cosmolin is. In the background, a beat-up radio plays soft jazz music, which is royalty-free. I still leads you to the bar counter, where a crusty bearded man <laughs> peers out at you from behind an open bottle of vodka. His eyes meet IS2's, and he takes a swing. What can I get you, Tovarish? Oh, he's a uh, Russian. The usual, an Irvin here will have. Uh, the. Uh, cranberry juice. Oh, one cranberry juice then. One of us has to be sober. Of course, yeah. Oh, she's here to get drunk. Great. You start to take a sip of your drink. You know what's my favorite maneuver? <laughs> what? <laughs> Envelop <laughs> what? Envelopment from behind. Yeah, of course, of course it's <laughs> you choke your drink. What? <laughs> it's true, it's so effective. Especially when the enemy isn't expecting it. You press the attack. 
<laughs> and penetrate their lines <laughs> from behind. <laughs> oh, this fucking game, man. <laughs> My Papa Yosef taught me that, yeah. Sure. <laughs> what about you? Do you have a favorite maneuver? Uh, uh, yeah, cough. Me too, I like choking them with their resources. They'll pay for their disloyalty to the Rodina. <laughs> Loyalty? Rodina? Yes, it means a lot to me and my family. People keep leaving me. She does look insane, though. I'm sorry I asked you. But you didn't leave me, you came here with me now. You're great, Erwin. She slaps you on the back. She, she really looks insane. Oh, you spilled your drink. Don't spill, silly. Finish your drink and let's dance. I can't, I can't, I can't breathe. <laughs> you spoil sport, that's okay. You can watch. Don't be peeking up my arm. Oh, this is so fucking cheesy. Jesus Christ. She makes her way to the musky floor of the mostly empty bar and begins to dance. Saxophone laced innuendo. <laughs> Where's the saxophone? Blood! I still. What did I say about dancing in bar? Oh, alright. She whines and joins you back at the bar. So, did you like your first day at Tank School? It really was weird. I'm having trouble getting over the fact that you're a tank. Well, duh, cutie, why else would I be there? Oh. Well, for you, it makes sense. You're a tank. A cute tank? Yeah, sure. I knew it. Let's drink. Ah, Stu, we have class in the morning. That's right, class in the morning. We have vodka right now. She likes her drinks, maybe a little too much. Suddenly, an old sounding song comes on over the radio, and a few patrons in the bar begin to toast and sing. <laughs> Fucking really, man. <laughs> Wait a second, isn't that the Soviet national anthem? Yes, it is. <laughs> the Stalin. <laughs> what the fuck? You can see a single solitary tear roll down the bartender's <laughs> Your patriotism belongs in another time, Tavarish. The song dies down and most of the patrons clear out of the bar. Uh, I'm gonna head home, Erwin. Want my number? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I want your number. <laughs> Call me, won't you? Yeah, yeah, sure. She gets up from her seat and winks at you as she walks out of the bar. You finish the last of your drink, and the bartender puts out his cigarette. Huh, I didn't think you were allowed to smoke in bars in Japan. It's also against bar rules to be of little sikabla <laughs> in bar, <laughs> but not throw you out yet, da? <laughs> Alright, have a nice night. You leave the bar and start walking back to your house. You make your way home, trekking across the entire town to get there. Damn, that girl dragged me far, you mutter as you approach your apartment. What a nut anyway, seriously. You open the front door and go upstairs to your room. You sit on your bed and take your shoes off one by one. I don't even know, I mean, could she have been any more forward? God, I'm probably going to have to see her at school tomorrow too, ugh. I need to figure out what her deal is, she, she wants the D, Erwin. Hell, what any of this tank school stuff is. I can't exactly ask the sergeant, and Sherman wasn't much help. 
Wait, the nurse mentioned the manual. I bet there's a surplus store in town with all that stuff. I'll go there tomorrow. They got to know something at least. You lay your head back on the pillow and fall fast asleep before you even know it. Yeah, alright guys, I think this will be it for the uh, first episode of Panzer Models. Uh, I'm gonna be finishing this whole game uh, because I promised I would do so called. Uh, banana, sorry. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.